Today we're going to go look for fossils, and the fossil we're going to be looking for is a horn coral. Let's get going. <laughs> so, in this stuff with all the flakes, there can be shells and brachiopods. That's an imprint. This is some of the material we're looking through. You can see there's some shells on those. And here's another piece with a lot of shells in it. If I can get it to focus, here we go. In the middle of the screen, I've got our first horn coral. So many shells. You can see that pattern on the top and then how it tapers off like this. It's a horn coral. This was a coral way back, believed to be around 400 million years old, something like that. We'll put it in the bucket. I'm just collecting shells. Okay. There are just shells everywhere. It's all in this stuff. Shells. There's a shell there, shell there. Yep. Here's the second horn coral. Do you want to pick it up? Yeah. Looks like a rock, but it's not. Yeah. So the reason we find fossils here is because this area was once a shallow water sea a really long time ago. It's a shell. There it is. There's a brachiopod. Hard to tell, but... This is also another horn coral, number four. And in the picture, we also have a crinoid stem. Sydney found another brachiopod. Move it around for us so we can see it. Here's another crinoid stem. These crinoids were little filter feeders and these are just the, the stems, just kind of like the stem of a plant today. This is horn coral number four or five. So these would anchor down into the, the coral reef. Okay, what'd you find, Sydney? That brocky pod and that one. So I think I found a horn coral. So I found another one right there. Go ahead and get it. It's like the top of one. Looks like there's something. There's another one. All right, we've got two in the screen right there. It's kind of hard to tell the shadow, but there's one. There's one, and there's one. And there's another one down here. I'll start with this one. Another one right here. Another horn coral. We also have some still in the matrix. Right there and a larger one right here. Found another one. <laughs> Found a crinoid stem and a horn coral. Here's a pretty beat up horn coral. Oh, it's stuck. That's it. Right here. Let's see it. Oh, it's a large one. Nice. You walked right past it. Yep. And there's another one. It's pretty beat up. 
Let's check it out. Ooh. Okay, let's take a look at your bucket, Sydney. Getting kind of heavy. <laughs> yep, those are our finds. A lot of horn corals. We were hoping to find a, a few more brachiopods, and there are trilobites here, but they're just really hard to find. And usually when they are found, they're all broken into pieces. Let me check it out. Yep. There it is. Still attached. This is a papa horn coral. Almost the whole thing you can see is part of the, the fossil. This ring right here is the the top, but it looks like it was broken off, but that's it. In the matrix. Right there. Yep, there's another one in the matrix. Here's another one. This one's actually crystallized. Hard to tell on the camera, but it shines in the light. Here's another large horn coral that's in the matrix. See the circular shape right on top? Well, kind of like an oval, but then it goes down in there. I'm gonna leave this one here though. Not sure what that is, but that's also some kind of fossil. And Sydney got another one. The bucket's starting to get heavy. Yeah. There's a very small shell right in the middle. This place is loaded with horn corals. There's another one. There's one in the matrix. This is something else. I'm not sure what it is, but it's interesting. And another one. I don't think it's complete. There we go. Kind of a larger one. Yep. And then I've got this thing. It's from the top down and a little cross section of it. And another one on the side. And there's a whole brachiopod. Just a little shell. We got two brachiopods in the frame here. We got one right here and one over here. Sydney found a snake shed in here. Almost looks like trash, but that's from a snake. Yeah. Here's the little snake, the little snake shed. Look close, you can see the eyes and the mouth right there. There's a horn coral and a brachiopod right next to each other. There's the brachiopod and the horn coral. We've got another brachiopod right there. Oh, and it's complete. There's more brachiopods and a little crinoid stem in the middle there. Sure are a lot of these guys. We're not taking them all home. They're just all in the gravel here. And I think that's horn coral. And another brachiopod. We're looking in this little washout right here. It's always kind of cool to see them in the matrix like that. There's a few of them in here. Sydney still has the snake shed. I'm bringing it home. You can just see them washing out right there. And there's some more still in the matrix. There's another one I just picked up. They are all throughout here. And there's a horn coral about to be washed out. Here's uh, some other piece of coral. I'm not sure what it's called, but that's what it is, coral. And we're about to pack it up. We are done for the day. We have lots of fossils. <laughs> We've got plenty. 
Well, we're all set. We're gonna pack it up and hike on out of here.